The former US Open winner was caught in the middle of a rather embarrassing moment at the final round of Live Golf Chicago because he couldn't get past a gallery rope. DeChambeau is the king of comebacks and posting funny, questionable videos though, and he responded to his embarrassing moment with a hilarious video, making fun of the whole ordeal. Let's get into this and some more golf-related news in this video. First up, let's look at the video that Bryson DeChambeau posted. The golf champion set out to prove that he can get through and under a gallery rope without being beheaded. That's a sentence we never thought we'd hear, but the world is strange. In the video that he posted, DeChambeau filmed himself carefully trying to maneuver his frame and going under the short gallery rope. He's also seen hyping himself up right before he attempts this glorious feat. Punching the air and taking deep breaths seems pretty intense. Then, finally, the pro golfer ducks and makes it under the gallery rope, and the crowd explodes. Yes, there is a staged crowd for the video. Everyone is cheering for Bryson, fist pumping and hugging him, going absolutely insane. The golfer even throws his hat to the ground because this is a huge victory. Even though it seems like a great way to make light of an embarrassing moment, people weren't going easy on Bryson. Everyone had a lot to say about it, and not everyone was appreciative of the fact that he laughed at himself, especially because the video was posted over a week after his incident in Chicago. Either way, it's a good laugh for trolls and critics. Next, DeChambeau fights for his life at the Chicago Live Tournament. The golfer was knocked down to his knees in Chicago just a few days ago. Unfortunately for him, it doesn't look like anyone forgot about the embarrassing incident. In a video posted by CBS sports reporter Kyle Porter, Bryson DeChambeau is seen horribly miscalculating the height of a gallery rope. He was trying to walk under the gallery rope at Rich Harvest Farms in Sugar Grove, Illinois, when the incident happened. He didn't even put his hands up to feel where the rope was and grab it. Instead, he went straight under it, or at least tried to. What really happened was he walked right into it, and somehow the rope ended up getting caught in his hat and also poking him in the eye. As he raised his hand to assess the damage, DeChambeau also ended up falling to his knees, or rather one knee. Seems pretty chaotic, and honestly, there's no other way to describe it. If you're wondering why this whole thing is described ever so dramatically, well, that's because it kind of was. It's pretty unusual to see a pro golfer caught slipping like this. Kyle Porter also posted a slow-mo video where Bryson's head is seen literally bouncing back after he bumped into the rope. Did we mention that apart from this one CBS reporter, others also rushed to post videos of this embarrassing moment on Twitter. In one video posted by Wes Brown on Twitter, Bryson is seen groaning saying, oh my god, what the F guys? Clearly extremely frustrated. Now was this the best way for Bryson to respond? Bryson DeChambeau's reaction was pretty dramatic and some have even called it extreme. The falling to one knee, extreme profanity, and staying in a pained position for so long, it all seems pretty theatrical, right? After all, that's what golf is all about. You'd think he lost an eye or something worse had happened when you look at his reaction. It felt like he wouldn't recover or something. Trolls were quick to do what they're best at, trolling, when the videos of Bryson on the course trying to recover surfaced all over Twitter. Like, these people went off. Well, of course, some people thought that his eye injury could have been potentially serious. Others were quick to criticize his use of unprofessional language on the course. Some even called him a drama queen. You can only imagine people's reactions when he posted a response video. The main thing people were saying was that if he really wanted to do something of the sort, he shouldn't have waited nine whole days for it. One user on Twitter said he was acting like a two-year-old and his little parody was a poor attempt. This user even compared him to a Muppet. People have too many strong feelings about this whole ordeal. It seems like if this was his best shot at damage control, he did a very poor job. Overall though, even though he tried, perhaps it was too little too late. A lot of the golf audience is older and probably misinterpreted his Gen Z style of humor. Finally, what's next for this golf champion? In the long run though, this whole incident won't affect his career, and that's a given. After Chicago, he made it to Nevada in the desert to play the long drive contest. He almost pulled off an epic upset in that tournament. Of course, you don't expect anything less than that from the current 48th best ranked golfer in the world. Even though he's one of the best, nobody was expecting this from him, considering he was competing against people who had ball speeds reaching almost 200 miles per hour. It's crazy. Against all odds, he performed pretty exceptionally. It's almost like a gallery rope didn't just nearly behead him. All jokes, of course. That's not all that DeChambeau is up to, though. He just called out the world golf rankings because they aren't considering live golf as of now. He used the word crazy. We can understand why, considering that his rankings have dropped quite a bit. A 
According to Bryson, the world golf rankings are just delaying what is inevitable. According to him, Liv is meeting all their criteria. He also thinks that PGA has an agenda to drop the rankings of all the Liv players until the players don't matter anymore. Who knows how true that is? Bryson is currently going to be playing at Liv Golf's first Asian event in Bangkok, Thailand. Let's hope good things are ahead of him. Moving on to some more golf news. First up, $18 million to Dustin Johnson after the inaugural championship at Liv Golf. Liv Golf events with their humongous payouts have helped earn Dustin Johnson $18 million so far this season. The two-time major winner on the PGA Tour still has one more individual competition and team competition to look forward to in the Liv Golf 2022 season. Undoubtedly, the Liv Golf series has caused a great division in the sport among competitors since its inception, mainly because of the unheard of purse money of $25 million compared to the PGA Tour for individual events. Dustin Johnson is indeed very proud to have earned the unsurmountable first place winner for individual competitions for the inaugural season of Live Golf, given there's still an event to play for the season in Jeddah later this month. Live Golf will be rewarding $8 million to second place and $4 million to third place winners for the inaugural season, an amount only expected to increase in season two of the Live Golf series events. Next is Tiger Woods finally returning. In the last major he played, Tiger Woods said that it would probably be his last. It's no secret that things haven't quite been the same after his accident. Everyone has patiently been waiting for his return to the course, and one commentator from the PGA Tour radio called Nota Begay finally raised everyone's hopes. Apparently, the star athlete might be competing sooner than we think. Begay said that we might see him just once this fall, and that he might surprise everyone. These are the kind of surprises we need more of when it comes to golf. People are already speculating which tournament he's going to show up in. Which one do you think will be graced by his presence? Finally, homegrown hero John Ram repeats win for the third time. John Ram, a homegrown favorite, became only the second player in tournament history to become a three-time winner of the Spanish Open, joining fellow countryman Seve Ballesteros, who accomplished the same feat 27 years ago. The 27-year-old Spaniard only led by one stroke round, inching the Australian Min Wu Ling going into the final round, but his final round consisting of six birdies and an eagle had him finish six strokes, minus 25, ahead of second place winner Mathieu Pavon, minus 19, of France. Meanwhile, the second place starter Minwoo Ling finished in third place with a minus 18 finish at the end of the tournament. At this point, the three-time winning champion at this particular event left Ram lost for words following in his hero's footsteps. He said that it was the goal coming in. The minus 25 finish also beat his personal best for the tournament from 2019, where he finished with a minus 22 for his final score. He said after the tournament's final scores were announced that this was his lowest round and his lowest score, but a perfect week. It couldn't have gone any better for the Spaniard, and things are only looking up for the champion in tournaments ahead. That's a wrap for this video. What do you think of Bryson DeChambeau's little clapback? Was it too little too late or just the perfect response? Let us know in the comments below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this. See you in the next one.